Guys, do not forget, every video you have the chance to win a FaceTime with me, all you have to do is leave a comment. And in that comment, we're going to change it a little bit. You have to write hashtag Team Tweety, and then you'll be in the running to win. Simple as that. Enjoy the video. Oh yeah, bam it again, I was like, knock it up another night. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on guys? I hope you're all super well. I'm wearing the same hoodie that I was wearing last night because I woke up, uh, I woke up a while ago. A lot yo, yo, just yo, got yo. back. <laughs> Did you finish your exam? I have tomorrow, the last one. Finally. Finally. But then I need to study normally. <laughs> and then you came home and what did you say to me? I, uh, I, I look at you, like I was open the windows here and I like, look at me, Shalom. And then I saw something in his eye. And I oh, know it's like, and then and then you got really close to me. It got a little bit weird. Yeah. I <laughs> but look at this eye. I have like red lines in it. I honestly don't know what that is. I've had it for. Yeah. I've had it like the last week. Week. Yeah, yesterday and the other days don't see it like too much. But oh today, yeah. That's. Uh. Anyway, it's a beautiful day in Barcelona. The sun is out. Blue skies, what a day. For me, I have training from 4.30 to 6, and then I also have the second session at, how do I say it? Is it Palazzera? Yeah, what? The other team that I play with. Palazzera, yeah. Palazzera. I have them from 10.30 till 12 o'clock at night. Luckily, there's someone in that team who gives me a lift back now, so no longer have to stay in Barcelona. I'm so happy with that. Are you training tonight? No, nope. I need to go to the gym. Wait, why aren't you training? Or your team's just not training? Yeah, my team don't train tonight. See, I was really keen on going to the gym as well, but I already have two sessions. Ah, so... So it wouldn't make sense for me to go. Yeah. But, maybe we'll go to the gym later this week. Got a pretty healthy lunch here, we got salad, tortilla. Amazing. It's good, isn't it? This time, I don't have to heat it up. I had some problems with the lettuce and heating it up, but this time, it's solid lunch. 4.03 when I left the house, a little bit cold as well. It's now 4.15 and I'm five minutes from the ground. I'm in this beautiful little alleyway, walkway sort of thing again. But I was just chilling, I was sitting down, I was playing some FIFA with the lawn, I was editing some videos for you guys, stuff like that. Mind you, I do have to do a core workout when I get home, but I thought I'd text my mentor and say, is the training at Olympia or this other place? And he texted me back saying, it's at the other place. So I had to quickly rush, get my stuff ready, head off to this other place, which is like an extra 10 minute walk. I'm going to arrive there about five minutes late. It's not the end of the world. It's not like I'm missing out on a starting position in the team. It's just that I'd like to be there when we start training. This team yesterday had a day off. I'm really hoping they don't just do a recovery dash strength session because I already did that yesterday. I'm hoping this session is like some football sprints or like some positioning games. I just really don't want to do the strength stuff because I've already done that. I do it by myself as well. Let's just get out, play some football, train like the Spanish train, I love it. Like I said in yesterday's video, it's never just straight line passing or simple passing drills. It's always game related drills that it's free form, like the possession, like the positioning games, like the games that they play. They just view football very differently to everywhere else or at least everywhere else that I've been, Australia and England. Here we are, first session of the day, the one that's a bit more serious. It's a different sort of scene here compared to the second session that I'll go to. None of the players are out there, so good sign. Let's head into the change room. Leaving the session now, that was one of the worst sessions that I've had in a long time. The reason for that was, you guys saw, I rushed here. I did my best to get here as soon as possible. I arrive at 5.30, and then one of the players that can speak English, he came in and he said to me, the coach is going to talk for a very long time today. And I went, oh no, not again, because if you saw yesterday's video, we sat for like half an hour, 40 minutes, and I don't understand a word that they say. The coach walks in and he starts speaking, the players start speaking, and literally it went for an hour. We got out on the field at 5.30. I don't understand a single word, I'm just sitting there. Even if I did understand it, it's not relevant to me, because I don't play with them on the weekend. So... If I had my time again, I would have said to that player that can speak English, could you ask the coach if I can go out onto the field and practice some free kicks or even just train a little bit by myself? Because after that, we went out on the field for half an hour. We did like running fitness. That's the first time I've done fitness without the ball in Spain. Actually, no, to be fair, it wasn't the first time, but it, it was like 15 minutes of running, jumping over stuff, running through ladders, which, which is okay. It's good to do every so often. But then after that, for maybe eight minutes, we played like Rondo, which is Piggy in the middle. And then that was the end of the session. So it was so boring. Just really not fun for me. I understand the coach needs to speak to his players, but I don't know whether an hour is necessarily a good thing because so many of the players were sitting there, hands in their faces, going to sleep, just completely bored out of their minds. So I felt sorry for them. I hope they felt sorry for me because I didn't understand a single 
thing. Anyway, heading back home now. I got a long walk. I have a bit of chill time before I have to walk to get picked up by my mentor. And then I head to the second session of the day. I was thinking about this while the guy was talking. I was just thinking about different things. And I've said to you guys, that second session that I do, my mentor and the other coach, they don't take it too seriously. But I think I can't let that get into my head. That's their decision to not take the session seriously. But for me, it's a really good opportunity to have a second session in the day. I'm really going to try and change my mindset so that when I go there, I'm giving 100%. I'm trying to learn as much as possible. I'm trying to become a better player because I think the last times I've gone, I've kind of been like, oh, okay, this isn't as serious. I really want to change that. I want to focus. I want to get better. I need to get better. So that's the aim. Heading back for dinner now. I'm starving. What is God? Look at this. Got another healthy meal. Lentils, potatoes, carrots, rice, and lettuce. Good pre-training meal, but I'm going to have something extra before I go. Maybe something like a banana to give me that energy during the session because it's so late. It's a killer one. Goodbye. Training, you too, mate. Oh wait, you're not training. Bye. <laughs> As my Spanish friends would say, this is amazing. I've got a baguette for after training. Obviously, there's going to be some sort of meat or something in that. And then I've got a banana for pre-training. This time, I'm prepared, guys. Last couple of sessions, I haven't prepared too well. This time, I'm ready. I'm ready to kill the game, go out there, changing my mentality, and just kill the game, baby. I've arrived at the second session of the day, and I got news that my mentor is training with me. This is going to be a completely new experience. And I said before, I need to keep that mentality. This is a training session where I can use it to improve and get better. That's going to make it even more difficult because they're going to be having fun and I'm going to be focusing, making sure that I'm getting better, progressing on my journey. Here's the field. I think that's the first team training already and then down the back end, that's us. We're a bit late, but that's just usual. It's freezing cold. Let's get to this session. Again, I'm sorry, there's no video for this session. I just, how can I video this? You guys tell me and there's no one here to video it, so unlucky. I'll catch you guys after the session. Man, again, what's going on with this hair? You already know it though, chocolate milk after the session. Shout out to my mentor's friend who gave me that. I'm on my way home now. We got Nick, how are you going? Hello. He speaks a lot of English, like, the one of the best English speakers I know. <laughs> he speaks a little bit, like, <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit. We drive home together, it's about 20 minutes. He doesn't know. <laughs> Nick's the goalkeeper for our team. He started last week and Nick was the one that got injured, which meant that I couldn't go on the field to play. <laughs> that was annoying, but it's footballing. Like, sometimes it's unlucky and it just happened to be Nick. <laughs> anyway, I really need a haircut. I'm heading home now. I need to do that plank session. Feel glorious, glorious. I'm just jamming out here, listening to some music. I'm much more happy with that session compared to the last sessions that I've had with that team. And that was 100% my mentality that I had going into the training. It just completely changed everything. I wanted to win that second ball more. I wanted to keep that ball more. I had heaps of good opportunities. I even nearly scored a header. I know, can you believe it? Me, a header? I don't know, it doesn't mix, does it? I also tried to play like the Spanish do, receiving the ball in between players and then bouncing it out somewhere else or taking a touch and then passing it elsewhere. As well as that, I also did a nice move, hit the post. Disappointing, but it's okay. Hopefully Alon's still up. If he's not, that's going to be a shame because I'd like to see him, but I still need to do a core workout. So I'm gonna smash that out. Again, I'm just going to be doing the simple core workout. I wanna knock it out. You might be thinking to yourself, Sheldon, what kind of attire are you wearing for this core workout? I don't know, but yeah, I tell you what, it is freezing cold, it's like five degrees. I've got layer on layer on layer and then jeans on. Doesn't matter as long as I smash it out, right? <laughs> you guys you know the standard 10 15 workout this time we've gone for the 11 45 i decided to add an extra one oh, i can't even do it i decided to add an extra one of those kind of just because i wanted to push myself a bit more i'm pretty annoyed you guys can sit at home and say 
Wow, look at this guy's dedication, doing his core cool workout at 1.30 a.m. in the morning. But the fact is, I did not prioritize it during the day, which means I have to stay up later than I probably would have liked in order to do the core cool workout when I could have prioritized it in the middle of the day instead of some other stuff like playing FIFA with a lawn and then I could have got to bed earlier or I didn't have to do it this late. I really don't like that I'm not happy with today. Very happy with that second session and I'm, look, I'm happy with the core workout. I'm just saying I could have prioritized my day a bit better, but live and learn, it's not the end of the world. I still got two sessions in, I got a core workout in and I'm not gonna die, so all's well. Guys, I don't know what it is, but I'm completely obsessed with jam on toast right now. It's just the best thing created by man. And you know I go hard with the jam. It's not just a smear, you gotta smother the toast with jam. Otherwise, is it really jam on toast? Or is it toast on jam? Hmm, interesting questions. Gotta keep hydrated as well. The really good thing about this is that it's a meal that I wouldn't have usually had. I'm trying to put on that weight, going to the gym more, and that means I need more food, especially with the workload that I have. I'm heading off to bed now. I'm not really sure what I'm doing tomorrow. I have a possibility to train with the younger team, but I'm not 100% sure whether I want to. Maybe I'll push myself a bit harder at the gym and really just hammer out a leg session. I'm yet to decide, but we'll have to wait and see. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. Join the journey and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Listen.